here with Nick Murphy, writer-director, and his Pizza and Bullets balloon um, here at his little fundraising event. Tell us a little about, about what you're doing here today. Uh, well, today we are fundraising with Cafe 50s uh, for our movie, our nonprofit movie, Pizza and Bullets. Very cool. So, nonprofit movie you wrote and directed and are in, right? Yeah, I'm in it, but I wrote and directed it too. Yeah. Right, so tell, how did that get started? Did you start as a writer or a director, one or the other? What Did you favor one? Uh, about 17 years ago, back in the early 90s, I just aged myself right there. Uh, me and my buddies started making movies in my backyard and uh, when no one else really was in my hometown. So, okay, so it's like your 40th short film and your fun, what are you fundraising for exactly for this one? Well, we're trying to raise our budget so we can pay our cast and crew because for the first time I'm not paying them in in and out I'm paying them in uh, what money I can give them. Um, and we're actually paying for our locations, we're not scaling them. It's a whole new filmmaking world for me to not like film out of a car from across the street while my actors use a scene laughed up with mics. Which is what most of us, I think, are doing. Yeah. There's no cops right now, is there? Uh, pizza and Bullets is an action comedy. Uh, it's about a real, real life pizza delivery guy who is also a hitman. And his girlfriend gets kidnapped by some bad guys and he's got to get her back. It's got a lot of heart, it's got a lot of comedy, it's got a lot of things in there that we, You've heard this story a million times. It's a hitman, it's his last job, but this is different. It's a hitman with his last job, but he has a real life job of putting up with customer shit as a pizza delivery guy. Like, there's a, a great subplot through the film of these two stoner customers who keep give, keep fucking with him. Yeah. They have no idea that he could, like, literally kill them at any minute. That's awesome. Filmmaking is your passion. You do it because you love it. I do it because I love it, and um, I think the key is is to get out there and do it. Like people try to shoot too big. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't wake up one day and go, I'm gonna make pizza and bullets. I woke up one day and go, I'm gonna make something in my living room with my friends, and we're gonna shoot it around the house. You know, because what right. that does is that is that helps you um, get your aesthetic and learn what you can and can't do with such a, a small budget. Because I mean, the cheapest film I ever made was 75 bucks. So and we did it in a weekend, and it worked. You know what what these lower films and these lower budgets help you realize is they help you become a better storyteller because it's one thing you can't hide behind yeah. and so the more you make the better you get at story so what kind of equipment are you using for pizza and bullets uh we're really lucky because canon has a series out called the 7d and the 5d um it's everybody's baby right now yeah it is i think it's also a wonderful door because it's finally a way to afford filmmakers a beautiful way to shoot but what you got to realize is when you're shooting with this particular kind of camera that you uh, it's not a film camera. You have to make the adjustments as you're shooting um, with it on its limitations. There's a great website uh, called cinema5d.com. Uh, they're very friendly over there and they have tons of information that's helping my DP out and myself out as well on these things. Um, they do have interchangeable lenses, but I know when you move the camera around, because this is an action film, we're moving the, the camera is going to be moving around quite a bit. Uh, it's not really great for the handheld thing, so you really got to take that into consideration. It's not a run and gun style camera. It's small, and you can get some great shots with it you could never get with the bigger cameras. Well, here you are, you're out here at this 50s, this very awesome Cafe 50s. The thing is with Cafe 50s is you go in and you eat, and um, you say you're there for pizza and bullets, and at the end of the night, the total's 20% of the total sales will go to our film. You can donate at pizzaandbullets.com. Okay. Click the Make a Tax Deductible Donation Now link, and that's up in the top right-hand corner. And um, and then it'll take you right to the page where you can make the tax deductible donation. Is this your first time with the crowdfunding, or have you done this before? No, it's my very first time with crowdfunding, and also very first time doing the nonprofit route uh, for crowdfunding. So it's first time for everything. Filmmakers of the world, let me tell you something. Fuck everybody. That's my news to you. When someone tells you you can't do it, fuck them. Go out and do it anyway. Go out and make your film. Because no one's going to stop you but you. And the only way that film is going to get out of here and into here is through you as well. So it's up to you. Go out and do it. I've never let anyone stop me from making films. I grab whatever camera I can and I make it. As long as it aesthetically fits my piece, I'm going to use it. I'll shoot on a cell phone if I fucking have to. So just get out there and do it and make it happen. I am